Australia's Defence Minister has used Anzac Day to declare the focus of our military will shift to threats closer to home. In Canberra, the withdrawal of the final troops from Afghanistan was front of mind. A salute to our diggers, centre stage. A sacred place on a solemn day. The last Anzac Day before Australia's involvement in the war in Afghanistan comes to an end. The world is safer from the threat of terrorism than when the Twin Towers were filled almost 20 years ago. But we remain vigilant. At the nation's war memorial, a message for the fallen, a salute for those who remain, and thanks for those who've served in wars gone by. Wing Commander Ted Fleming. Standing guard, the current generation in uniform. Joining top brass, wary of the future. Uh, if we can shape, deter and respond in accordance with the government's objectives, then we won't get to a point where we end up in the, in the horror of war. As the Defence Minister says, the military's focus is shifting. Our region is changing. Uh, China is militarising ports across our region. Concerned China's self-confessed combat drills near Taiwan could lead to conflict. I don't think it uh, should be discounted. I think China has been very clear about uh, the reunification. Treading a very careful line on what Australia might do. We want to make sure that we continue to be a good neighbour. The Treasurer has a fight of his own on his hands as the health battle of COVID-19 continues. So too does the battle to keep businesses open. Josh Frydenberg's budget to be delivered in just over a fortnight is said to be heavily focused on getting more people back into work. He's back. I'm going to be back. Taking advice from a predecessor. Get the country moving. Josh Frydenberg is preparing to spend big wants employers to do their bit. To make more investments, to hire more people. Preparing for the future, while Australians reflect on the past. Jonathan Kersley, Nine News.